big thank you to EA for sponsoring this video of this Madden 23 Super Bowl prediction gameplay, which is about to be crazy. You got to see the ending. Stick around for it. The Super Bowl is about to be wild IRL and in the simulation video that we're doing right now because you have Jalen Hurts, who has one of the best backstories in football right now. And you have Patrick Mahomes, who a lot of people think could be the greatest quarterback of all time when it's all said and done. Before you end up watching this video, though, let me know in the comments down below who do you think is going to win this simulation and the Super Bowl IRL, as well as who do you think the MVP of the game is going to be? On our first drive here, Jalen Hurts knows that the Eagles need a strong start, and he absolutely delivers it. As the Eagles move down the field with ease, Hurts runs into some big trouble, though, on third down. The league's 2022-2023 MVP picks up after the Eagles punt with an opportunity to put his squad up top. Things are not going to be easy, though, as Hassan Reddit gets a huge sack to force a third and long. Mahomes is out here slinging that thing off his back foot on third down, but the unfortunate part is that it's going to be short. Both defenses came to play. Jalen Hurts is stepping up here with a huge bomb to A.J. Brown because they needed something huge. This is going to change the pace of the game. Things get a little crazy, and Hurts pulls off a wild scramble to then get the Eagles to the, within 10 yards of the end zone at the end of the first. I'm going to be honest. Philly had two really conservative play calls leading up to this one, but then the Eagles get a big touchdown to A.J. Brown to strike first in the Super Bowl. Andy Reid facing his former team is not happy with how his team's effort is after that first drive there and score from the Eagles. Now give Patrick Mahomes credit here because he comes out aggressive with a huge pass to MVS, but there's a penalty on the play and uh, that one's going to be coming back. The offensive line is doing great and Mahomes gets all the time in the world, but he cannot connect with Travis Kelsey on second down and on third down, they come up short with a wildly thrown ball that goes back to Kelsey too. They've had some positive things, but Kansas City is struggling in this Eagles defense. Their stock is rising. The Chiefs defense continues to struggle here as Jalen Hurts and the Eagles continue to dot them up play after play. Miles Sanders gets a major catch out of the backfield to move up to the 28-yard line. Jalen Hurts nearly connects with A.J. Brown on the sideline, but it's broken up beautifully, and then Hurts comes back on the next play and throws a crazy interception to Juan Thornhill, the Chiefs, who returns it for a pretty solid game. Now, with that interception by Juan Thornhill, Mahomes has a really big opportunity to tie the game up before the half, but can he answer the call? The Chiefs have a beautiful drive until a fumble by Kadarius Toney is picked up by the Eagles, and Hargrave runs it back. We got a big fella running, and he gets a big gain off of it. Hurts answers that question really quickly with an incredible throw down the middle to his running back in Miles Sanders, and now things are going to get interesting here for Kansas City. With one timeout left, Philly gets down to the two-yard line and uses their last timeout. This next play decides a lot, and Jalen Hurts does what he cannot do, which is take a sack with no timeouts remaining. The clock is going to run out. They cannot get back to the line and get the field goal off, and the Chiefs are going to go into halftime only down a single score. It was a crazy situation for them, and it worked out in their favor. Coming out of halftime, the Chiefs waste no time here in the second half as they get a huge play to Marquez Valdez Scanley. He's breaking multiple tackles and going down the sideline for an electric touchdown to tie the game. What a play and what a statement. Philadelphia has had plenty of chances, but they've only managed a single touchdown here in this game. If the Eagles don't answer right here, Kansas City has a ton of momentum going forward. Hurts finds Calcaterra for a short game, but a crucial third down is now in front of them. Hurts delivers a strike to Devonta Smith for his second grab of the game in a big first down. Philly continues with a short yardage play until Quez Watkins comes up with a strike down the middle of the field to put him down at the 14-yard line. On fourth and inches, Philly decides to go for here. They line up, and they are going to actually convert this one. And then Hurts on the next play takes it in, and the Eagles have reclaimed their lead, and they are back up here at the end of the third quarter. Huge drive. Kadarius Tony redeems himself after that early fumble with a gain to put Kansas City nearly in scoring territory. The running game picks back up as Kansas City sees Pacheco rumble for big back-to-back -back runs here. Mahomes nearly throws a pick on the second and short, and on third down, he tosses a jet sweep to Tony for a crucial conversion. McKinnon caps off a fantastic drive here for Kansas City with a big touchdown run to even things back up. We're all tied again in the Super Bowl. A.J. Brown continues his dominance in today's game as the Eagles pick up a nearly 20-yard reception to start their drive. As the two-minute warning approaches here in the fourth quarter, Miles Sanders cannot find much room to run. It makes it a tough third and four for Philly. Jalen Hurts lines up as the only guy in the backfield here, no protection for him, and Devonta Smith is going to convert it to keep the drive alive and the clock ticking. Philly's looking to start to milk the clock a little bit here. Kansas City is not using their timeouts, and honestly, I'm a little nervous for him. On third and nine, Miles Sanders fails to convert again, and the Chiefs finally use their very first timeout here. The Eagles are going to line up for a 50 four-yard field goal. This is what they need to take the lead and hope their defense can do it, but they are going to miss this one wide right with 32 seconds on the clock in two timeouts. 
Patrick Mahomes needs to lead his team to victory. A dump off pass to McKinnon hurts them as they're forced to use their second timeout here. 24 seconds in a dream and Mahomes finds Juju Schuster and they take their final timeout at the 34 yard line. Their nerves are going crazy right now. Harrison Bucker is going to line up to kick a 51 yard field goal to win the Super Bowl. But Philly says, no, 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 not yet. We're going to use the timeout and they're going to ice the kicker. Five seconds on the clock and a chance to either be a hero or someone that everybody's pretty mad at going forward. Harrison Bucker is going to see the kick go up. And it's good. Kansas City are going to be the Super Bowl champions in the 2023 Super Bowl MVP is none other than Mr. Patrick Mahomes, also the regular season MVP. Madden 23 has the Chiefs beating the Eagles in the Super Bowl, but who do you ultimately have winning it? Who do you have winning the MVP? Down below in the comments, I want you guys to also check out the official Madden prediction from EA Sports. There's a link for it below. Make sure you check that out. And a big thank you to EA again for sponsoring this video. You guys know the deal. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,